So what Roger will do in a server side request forgery is they will trick the server now instead of the browser, which was cross site request forgery. We're now tricking the main server that's for that website to make a request to the API that it's not intended to do. Roger can get more data back from the API. Roger can get more sensitive information about other users, whatever it may be. They try to exploit the fact that this server is making additional requests that it wasn't designed to actually make, even though it's leaving that door open for Roger to do it. So the difference, if you're picking up on what I'm putting down here between cross-site request forgery and server-side request forgery is CSRF is happening more so in the browser and directly to the main server, whereas server-side request forgery is happening behind the scenes on the back end from one server to the other, whether it's an API or this could be some other service.